I smell it. I low down the wet. I smell a rat. <laughs> Uh, his name is Big Bills Auto Center up on, uh, what is it, 60th and Capitol on, and uh, Center Street. Yes, in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Don't none of y'all go to Big Bills ever. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me. Your host, Khadija. Well, y'all know I didn't had a birthday, so I had to go and uh, really shut down. <laughs> I think I loaded up a little a few uh, videos, but um, this was a very reflective birthday for me, time for me. Born day and reflective. How many years I've been on the planet, um, um, where my life has been and so far how the journey has gone, and I'm going to say it's been pretty interesting. But without that being said, I have to come over here real quick, and this is basically for people in um, Milwaukee, because y'all outside of Milwaukee won't know about this place, but if you got some relatives that's here, if they don't know, you ever come here, there's an auto place by the name of Big Bill. Auto, and they've been in business for a real, real long time, okay? Selling vehicles to people. And the thing about it, the vehicles are very pretty from the outside. And they give some of the neighbors credit, from what I hear. They give some of the neighbors credit that they can pay on these cars. I don't know where they get these cars from, but they have pretty bodies. A lot of them are vintage. Um, however, they are pure trash. Now this story that I gotta go in and tell you is 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 my personal experience and also what happened to a young lady that just purchased a, a vehicle from Big Bills. And what happened was with myself, um, I was coming home, coming back to Milwaukee, I believe from Gary, Indiana, and my brother and I, we were pretty high. I'm not gonna lie, we were buzzed. And we were riding down Center Street. And my brother goes, Wow, look at that Thunderbird. It is so nice. This Thunderbird has uh, stagecoach doors. And um, it was very, it was, it was smooth, it was clean. And he was just like, Stop this vehicle. I gotta go back and get that. Right? I'm like, you sure? He's like, yeah, stop this car. And go back and get that. So, um, stop the uh, car. And we went up to the, turned around, went up to Big Bill's. My brother purchased this baby blue. No, it was light sky blue. It was sweet. It had a black roof. It had the stage closed doors, and it was a Thunderbird. Um, I don't know, maybe a, this was so long ago, so it probably was a 68 or a 69, and maybe this was like 72 or 73. Okay. To make a long story short, my brother purchased this vehicle. Oh, okay, who dropped this off? Somebody dropped this off. That's what happened. Um, we were riding with my uncle, and we were all riding. Now, he told my uncle to turn around. So my uncle dropped us off. I'm in the car with him, with my brother, and my uncle went on. My brother and I, he followed us or he waited for us. Y'all, just bear with me a minute, because the story is coming back to me as I'm trying to talk about it, because Big Bill is really what's in focus here, okay? Let's just don't lose sight of what this whole story is about. And that's Big Bill's auto um, on Center Street in Milwaukee. So... We get this vehicle. I don't know if we drove it, test drove it. I can't remember any of those details. However, 
we rode about a mile from the establishment. And the car started smoking and it shut off. It was like, whoa, what happened? Just start smoking and everything. You know, so motor gone, whatever. We didn't, you know. Anyway, so now my brother got to get the car towed. So he's already mad now. He came down real quick, fast, and in a hurry. Because he just realized he spent his money on this car. This car is a freaking lemon. Now, we get this car home, and then he sends it to a shop. And okay, and it, it was a shade tree mechanic. Um, boy, that the whole thing was all bad. It's all bad. <laughs> My brother, every time he wants to be mad at me, he thinks about that story. I'm like, why are you mad at me? He said, because I should have told him not to go do it. You know, go figure. Flash forward to 2019, I was watching the news this morning. Just so happened, because I usually don't watch the news. So I turned it on so I could see what the weather was like, because as y'all know, we had 60 degrees um, on yesterday. And the day before, it was like in the 50s, and today it's in the 30s and it snowed. <laughs> okay, so it's been snowing and, sh and stuff. So uh, just very unpredictable weather, like we used to have it right here. So I'm listening to this story. Now all of a sudden there's this woman that just purchased a vehicle from Big Bill's Auto on 60th. And she was riding down the expressway and the freaking car caught on fire. The car caught on fire. I mean a big full all in out blaze of flame. Big Bill said, we refunded the person money back. Um, we're sorry. We're glad nobody got hurt. Thank God nobody got hurt. Because if you see the way that car was set ablaze, I'm surprised she had she got out. Big Bills need to be shut down. If anybody is in Milwaukee and y'all hearing this video, I hope you spread it. Uh... Just, this is insane. This These people should not be in business. Now they want to say they're under new ownership. Mm -mm. All those cars that's on that lot are potential death traps. And I'm saying that because everybody, then I have another friend who bought a vehicle because he lived down the street and he really needed a vehicle to get back and forth to work. I told him about the story. Um, that my brother and I experienced. Now he bought a, the, the car from there. And so this was years ago. And what happened to him was within three days or four days, like within the week of him purchasing the car, the motor went out, shot, and the, whatever you call it, the flywheel, whatever, that broke out the car. I mean, I don't know if they just have these cars tuned up to, for you to get them off the lot uh, for a certain period of time, but I'm contending that they are one of the most negative uh, uh, car places with the most negative history that is still in business in this city that I've ever heard of. And actually... They really need to be gone. And I think that if we were an active community, if we were a community that gave a damn about ourselves, we would start a petition to get them up out of there. You know, and maybe that's what needs to be done. Because Big Bills has hurt a lot of people. And these are just the stories that I know of. So I'm not going to say allegedly because they happened. I was involved the fact of the matter is, this is still going on. They're still open with these practices in a black community, in a community that is probably, um, a, a, you know, a, a heavily impacted black community. Okay? And it, it's, it's um, one of the poorest zip codes, I believe, in Milwaukee. I believe. Not sure about that. However, um, 
they have been in business for at least 35 years on sitting on that corner, ripping people off, allegedly that come in to buy a vehicle. It's ridiculous. And I'm saying that to say, I'm glad you okay, but big bills, auto is a, a trash establishment. And I think that there's too many um, bad stories now concerning that used auto lot. Don't go there. Don't go there. <laughs>